tonight on PM Express. A conversation about the relocation of the Ameri plant to Kumasi. You recall the 250 megawatt power production plant was handed over to the government of Ghana by the African and Middle East Resources Investment Group. Now, government says it is relocating the 10 unit barge with the capacity to generate 25 megawatt each totaling 250 megawatts, which is commissioned on natural gas to Aumaso in Kumase. The minority is today questioning the use of the $35 million, translating into about 250 million cities to relocate the plant. It is also demanding answers to why Metalenius International Trading Company is the one to do the relocation. The same company, the minority says, was involved in the innovation and amendment of the American contracts that almost swindled Ghanaians, but for the vigilance of the minority. Let me refresh your minds on the Ameri deal and how we got here. And so we, we just asked the question, um, is 250 million cities costs for relocation justified? But this is how it all is issues about why government is seeking to introduce miscellaneous a company involved in the 2018 Ameri scandal into the relocation deal. There are other questions that have been asked. Why is, are you not asking VRA to do it? Because VRA has the capacity to do that. Now it says that the planned expenditure is alarming and government must put it on hold immediately. The question is what is actually the independent assessment that shows that this is on the higher side? So this is the majority leader of SHMS so asking or announcing to Mr. Speaker that uh, there will be a relocation. He says, Mr. Speaker, in 2020, the country had an adequate generation capacity to meet the demand for domestic, commercial, and industrial cu customers. In 2021, however, the Ameri plant will be relocated to Kumasi to help stabilize the national grid. Now, this conversation uh, came up again in March this year, and today the minority are raising questions. What is the background? Now, the $510 million power deal was signed between Ghana and Africa Middle East Resources Investment Group uh, in 2015. This was at a time when the country was reeling under heavy power crisis. You ask yourself, what is our situation now? So the plant's generation capacity, it has a 10-unit barge, it has a capacity to generate 25 megawatt each, and its, totaling, uh, its total capacity is about 250 megawatts. And uh, the takeover by government was done recently. So, um, and so it was handed over to government fully by the company that was managing it. But government says it could rake in about $31 million annually from power export, and $4 million are saving on transmission loss cutback. What does this mean? Doesn't this mean anything for those who are asking for justification for the 35 million costs? So that will be the thrust of our conversation.